Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Hey. I'm all in. And the people of the Commonwealth slept soundly, for the greatest monster was gone. It took a lot of guts to do what you did. I know it couldn't have been easy. It had to be done. You'll get no argument from me. It's hard to even wrap your head around. A world without the Institute, lurking in the shadows. But that's the life the people of the Commonwealth will get to lead now. All thanks to you. I didn't do it alone. Sure, sure. But we both know, without you, none of this would have ever been possible. This is a brave new world you've ushered in. But I suppose it'll do. Hey. I'm listening. Nick. What do you need? Your thoughts? Let's keep looking. Need to figure out what Kasumi's story was. Why she left. That's all for now. Well, all right. Key, huh? Good work. 
Gotta find whatever it unlocks. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail hey, up north so to a town called Far Harbor. the daughter takes off by boat, but more importantly, there. there's a colony of synths up near this Far Harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the water's better than anyone. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic! Maybe your daughter is just confused. Uh, having an identity crisis. Oh God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God. That explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but... Try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Fine, Kasumi. Please.
stay there. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, you might not be able to rescue Man the hull! Something's out there. This ain't a drill! What the hell? Eyes peeled, everyone! The gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Ready? Farm is paying off. It's over. No. Eyes on the fall. Something's coming. For you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. But there is. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get 